all right so yo and welcome back to tales of art and if you're enjoying the video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below but anyways back to or it's time to start our uh, well another gotcha as i mentioned before as i'm drowning in gotcha games and no time to play any of them really so this is more like a test run i well i say test run but i tried it last night i did like a couple missions to see if i like it or not yeah, I kind of like it. It, it kind of reminds me of games I love like Overwatch 2 and Destiny 2. Like the first person shooter or Division, but with anime girls. Although I kind of wish there was males and less fan service, but to each their own, I guess. But yeah, so it's my second day. As, I'm, as you can see, I'm getting the second day login and the stuff. Man, they are wearing a lot of revealing dress like Jesus Christ. So, so far, I, the game is like about the world being attacked by gods or something or titans. And these girls or idols or whatever are defending them because I don't know why males can't do it. Maybe it's like a Valkyrie thing or what's that anime with the girls that only they can fight. But then there's like a guy that can do it, too. Something straddles, something like that. Basically, it's that type of story, you know, where the girls do all the fighting and yada yada. Because of fan service or something, maybe it's like darling the Frank, and you got you got to do that doggy style mount, whatever. So you know, no, normally I will play dub, but as I have heard in the grapevines that. Apparently, the English voice actors are on strike for this game because there's too much fan service or they want to stop. So I, I, I am the type of person that like flexes to stay to one lane. If, if, if I'm listening to this voice actor, I would like for this voice actor to be voicing the same character throughout the entire game. That's personally me. Like when I hear Goku, I hear that one dude, Sean Shemo, whatever his name is. Or when I watch Dr. Stone and I hear Deku's voice is voiced by that one guy. But then this one episode, I'm like, what the hell? This isn't him. Or this is why I play sub in, in Final Fantasy 14, because they switched the vo English voice actor around a lot. So, yeah. But maybe you guys can let me know if like the English voice, uh, voice actor stays through the entire game, then I might. All right, so what's the quartermaster? Oh, the free stuff to bait you into checking out the shop. Classic gacha games. Storage. So I haven't done any summons. I also haven't used any of to pick any of the weapons for this, as I don't know. I'm not going to chase meta. I'm just summoning for whatever, honestly. Cause I'm I'm playing too many gacha games to care about meta. I'm just here to have fun. So let's do a summon though. As I got a discount. It's just the same as no. Okay, the it's black. That's how you know. Yes, yes. Swipe down. As I did one summon already for the tutorial, which was the ninja-looking girl. All right, let's skip until we get to the good one. Eternal, those two. So she has telekinesis, I'm assuming. Chrono protects offensive psych domain for 1.25 seconds, dealing chaos damage. Every three seconds, target to target dealing inside the domain. When the domain disappear, all target will be knocked back towards the center, dealing chaos damage. This also interrupts the special skill for 10 seconds. Damage per time of defensive side, 30%. Okay. It was like a bubble of DPS. Oh, no. I need eight. I only got three. All right, so that's it. God damn, that boobage is crazy. 
So they gave her away for free. I'm not sure if this is a type of game where like, well, never mind. What am I saying? It's a gotcha game. I'm I'm pretty sure like dupes matters. All right, let's summon her. Only one purple. Marian Andre Ochides. What do you do? Marion enters stealth state and increased movement speed while deploying a Dark Crow Phantom at her location to taunt nearby enemies for 8 seconds. The Dark Crow will explode when it disappears, stealing AoE chaos damage. When Marion shoots, use a skill or when Dark Crow Phantom disappear, Marion will exit stealth state. The cooldown for smoke screen starts when the Crow disappear. Passive, while scoping, Mario enters focus state, boosting any ballistic damage she inflicts. Cool. Alright. What's this? Cyrus, the goldfish. She just sticky note herself? What you do? Cyrus create initial blessing around herself, reducing damage taken by 25 and improving her anti anti interruption ability. If Cyrus dodge while initial blessing is active, gains reborn eye effect. Applying aptitude to bone eater to her next shot. Add kinetic damage to her shot. This cooldown for initial coffin starts when initial blessing disappears. So she's a buffer. Oh, these are the skills. Thirsty. Deceased protection to a fixed location in front of her, blocking enemy fire. Deceased protection is not a shield. Okay. Affected by shield. Decreased protection, not decreased damage. Okay. Service creates a birth dome. Protecting herself from repelling enemies surrounding. The birth dome provides protection operator. Op protect the operator with a large shield, which increased movement speed, reduced damage. So she's like a buffer also, but her defense. I wonder how can you tell there's a five star oh, okay there's a five star. Five star is Is that her or is it not her? Because this apparently is a game where a single character can have like eight outfits or something, eight different versions like Honkai Impact. Life Infinite Sight. Cool. So she has like funnels? Chancing the observer. Okay, I got dupe of the uh, assassin girl. Chancing deploys drop pod for a de designated location which repels around target and transforms into Thunder Soldier after a brief delay. Thunder Soldier unleashes an electric shock every 2.5 second, attacking the closest enemy within range, ricocheting to two targets near, dealing electro damage. Up to three Thunder targets can exist I feel at once. Oh, cool. Changing the place one drop part at a distant location, which repels around target and transforms into purity mark after a brief delay. The purity mark draws 1,000. Birth, birth at, at start, as well as every five seconds, we restore some HP when picked up. Healing count as shang healing and is affected by her healing bonus. So she's a healer. There's the location where loading target increases attack speed of surrounding Thunder Soldier. Cool. So if she got 30, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, should I summon for a weapon? I don't know. I guess we just, oh. Out of the flow, those small dagger dealing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Creates a nightmare zone domain and around herself. All enemies are in protector inside the zone will be slow. The cooldown moonlit starts when nightmare zone disappear. Toys Burlow Bird to immediately attack once upon the entry. Then Burlow Bird will attack. Use records to reform regular. E attack comes to a small amount. Oh, she's like a dark knight. Continuous release. Kona turns into a fan of quickly moves in a certain direction. Alright. Earth don't protect. She's a buffer. Mm 
Oh, I was like, is there two different versions of her? This is Kaguya. And this is just redacted. Okay. Like, what's the difference? Ah, uh, that boo bitch is crazy. Oh, wait, no, this is a five star. Oh, all right. All right, let me add. Where's the fun, little girl? How do you do her weapon? I probably do each episode by episode. The mission's code name. Oh, also, it might freeze a bit. My PC can't handle this game for some reason. Well, I guess it's because it's a high-end game. Mission Conan was Londoners. Lond Lond Our objective was to recover the lost rocket in the containment zone. Also, okay, so our character is also from the satellite space station place that was attacked. And then we were blasted off like Kark Clint Kent or o Goku onto Earth. And apparently we were some top tier commander. These guys remember us and they're like, oh, we're well, happy to have you back. But it seems like you failed your mission on the satellite, whatever. To rescue or stop the invasion or something so then we're here and they're like ah yes and then my my character got to know the motivation of the two life wants revenge for her family that was killed when the titan birthed itself with like the titan came out just like how aaron came out during that one meeting in attack on titan season four benny just wants to be respected it's idol best at everything she does top tier noble girl kind of thing this is still going on. Uh, are the Coyotes stealing military weapons to sell them off? Where did all the gear come from? There's also a turret cobbled together from all sort of stuff. Finny, what? Get down. Ow. Ouch. Owie. So, are they like Nikes? Those turrets were modified heavy machine guns, utilizing 12mm heavy machine gun ammo. Getting hit by a powerful, terrifying weapon like that will only leave a scratch. Where manifestation even human? The Heimdall Force prowess on the battlefield was entirely due to the manifestation. I never could have imagined how it would turn everything I knew ab about combat on its head. Wednesday, Fenny, push forward. These false choices. I don't know why they just don't put it in the dialogue itself. Got it. Keep your eyes on me. My performance is starting. Coyote soldiers. What the heck are there two people? Up? There are two people up there. Come on, bring a few more turrets. Let's rip them to shred. Huh? Where'd they go? Are my eyes playing tricks on me? As a result, they two come back completely hell off the enemy force caught in their crossfire. How I do, Ajuntant. Fanny smile, waiting to be complimented. I suddenly recall that her nickname during the Valkyrie games was Lionheart of Olympus. Okay. Fucking anime. All these names. I couldn't understand why her fans chose the nickname for her. Me, me too. I don't. But I wasn't there. She looked more like a cat begging for treats. You did pretty well. Then who do you think did better, me or Wednesday? That's not something I can determine from a single fight. She has his own strength, and you have yours. You're both great at what you do. Ark, you're really good at handling things diplomatically. <laughs> Are you afraid Wednesday would get jealous? I felt as if my brain was going to short out. Wednesday, that thunderbolt you used, was that a manifestation power? Yes. Wednesday, day rolls is Owen. Oh yeah, so uh, also some people have this thing called day rolls, which is like uh, in a way kind of like a sponsor where a god or divinity or some creature, something grants you their power or some semblance of their abilities. We have something in our brain that's like that, but I'm assuming it's a little girl. Hers is apparently Odin. That's why she can use lightning and thunder. What about your Daywolves? It's Hera. Obviously, I have such an amazing Daywolves due to the noble air about me. Never mind, Ajunt. 
Never mind, Commander. What about your day rolls? I don't have one. You don't have a day rolls? Are you saying you don't have manifestation power? Can you still get flooded? The good thing about this game is you can go to a thing that tells you about it. Flooded, a phenomenon where a manifestation personality is overtaken by a second godlike consciousness, stemming from the theotropic nerves, called a daywolves. Once their original pers personality is completely overpowered by the daywolves, the manifestation might have believed they are no longer human and quickly exhibit extremely aggressive or destructive tendency. I kind of wish Nike was like this, where you can play third person. Hello, hello. How is how how it's how it's going? Did you take care of that setback? I'll keep this brief, Commander. I need to emphasize this one last time. In addition to uh, ammo and inhibitors, all right. Back to the log. Officially known as Baldur's inhibitors for the public. It's only available to miracle drugs for Truvosis, Chuv Ikrasil Enterprise. It's the sole developers and manufacturer of this pricey medicine. So it's like a nerf damp dampener. We also disputed that. Is, th is this the that you're talking about? Feel like I'm answering a riddle. It is the new injectable to the logistic department issue. They say the, they're more effective than Baldur's inhibitor and can restore manifestation sanity after flooding. Why did it take so long to develop something like this? Got it. Caroline, you can confirm the coordinates for me one last time. One sec, I just finished handling your last command. Hey, wait, man, what's going on? The source of the signal is moving away from you, and it's quick. Looks like someone else got there first. The communication signal suddenly began to cut out. The signal out. Be careful. I, don't, I can only make out her warning. Be careful. Oh, that's cool. Commander, it's snowing. According to the mission brief, this wasn't real snow. Rather, it's crystallized titogen, a deadly type of pollution. This phenomenon often meant the tidings are coming. The snow grew heavier and heavier. I wonder if it's like Freya or something. Through me, enter the city of pain. Through me, enter the abyss of eternal suffering. Through me, enter those who are beyond redemption. It was both the entrance to hell and the beginning of everything. Its name is Emir. Oh, never mind. for section shelter. I brought Winston and Fanny into the nearby building. Even if we hid indoors, the snow could still pierce through and force concrete and float in, leaving nowhere to hide. Through a, ca a gap in the wall, we finally lay eyes to the Titan's true face. Winston's eyes saw that at the same moment. Emir. She initially murmured the Titan's name, then suddenly, oh yeah, because she's the one that killed her family. <laughs> Emir. Lightning burst out from her left eye, the only one remaining. The concrete floor under our feet spun round and round, destroyed layer and layers. At the moment, I could sense that she was no longer the Wednesday I knew. Odin. She flooded. She's going to head for Ymir, I guess. What's convenient, they just gave us the dampener thing. Commander, stand back. We can't do anything to stop her. We have to try the new injection. Time was shorting out. She had already become Odin. She wouldn't wait around for me to load the injection, nor would she patiently stand still as I took aim. Don't get close to her, hey. My body moved before I knew what I was doing. I hugged her. I reached out and drove the injection directly into her body. The girl overtaken by Oh, Oh, you know what was also a coincidence? Odin has one eye and she also has one eye now. Huh, it, it kind of fits her, honestly. It was like a monster in my arms. I felt the wrath of her elbow, teeth, knees, and her palm that spewed lightning. She struggled to break free and track down the enemy who took everything from her. I could hear the sound of my ribs breaking and the uh, and the electricity running through my flesh. Finally, everything slowly grew calm. Wednesday. Yeah? I released the girl from my tight grip. You're hurt. I bandaged myself up quickly. Fortunately, only my ribs were broken and I was able to move my to move. My resilience seemed to have improved when compared to before. It's nothing serious, don't worry. I'm sorry. I have a feeling we'll run into Emir again, but you can't get revenge if you're dead. Something flashed through Wednesday's eyes. She opened her mouth but hes hesitated to speak. She turned around and walked over to the distant corner, squatting down. 
She then wrapped her arms around her knees, curling up like a ball. I was unable to see her expression. And that was 20 minutes of dialogue. All right. Anyways, I'll call that. We can do hard. Damn it, that sucks. They should let you do hard from the get-go. Get, get, get-go. But anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.